Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we are going to do several updates in this vlog and what we've been up to on quarantine. Some house stuff, some landing stuff, some work stuff, all the things. First things first, I made the most delicious cinnamon rolls today and I feel like they took me like 10 hours to make because I got distracted and it you know how things happen with Landon and with toddlers and doing all the things but they are delicious okay before I get too far in the video I want to talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing and you guys know I'm pretty minimalistic when it comes to jewelry I wear my rings I love them but Ana Luisa was nice enough to send us some jewelry I have this ring this one with the olive stone which I love and then also these earrings which I'm really excited about. I'll put some close-ups of them right now, but I am really excited that we finally got some pieces from there. I've been looking at them for a long time. They're really, really known for having sustainable jewelry, which is super important to me. Obviously, living in Colorado, environmental major. Not only are the pieces really cute, they're really good quality. I had a really hard time picking which pieces that I liked. Obviously, I went for rings because I like wearing rings and I like the minimalistic things and then I picked out the earrings because I needed something for work days just to make me look a little more professional. You know how that goes. So Ana Luisa's goal is to have a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020 which is a huge deal to me and should be a big deal to you guys too because we don't want the world to end, you know? They have really fair prices. Once again, I will link these down below and probably link some other ones that I was choosing between but they're not that expensive, especially for being sustainable. So we are all about that. They're actually having a sale for Mother's Day right now. So if you guys use the code MOM35, you can buy one piece and get another piece for 35% off or buy it for a special mother in your life. So Mads can get me two pieces and save some money. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And I could possibly wear earrings. Laura doesn't think they look that great on me, and she's actually kind of right, but... <laughs> so check out Ana Luisa, I will post their stuff down below, and let's get into some of our updates. Yeah. Okay, Mads is here now. I'm here. And... It's springtime, and I have a lot of allergies. I was just about to say, forgive her allergies. <laughs> so we might have to pause oh, and... Swollen. And blow her nose, and she's like, hold on, let me take a Benadryl, and then I'll film this. <laughs> It'll be fine. Then I'll sit down. Um, so... First things first, tonight, which is weird, they are lifting the stay at home van tonight. in our area, which is crazy. And I feel like it's super premature and I think things are gonna get super worse. Which I think they're gonna get better and then everything's gonna die back down in the fall. That's my prediction. Okay, that's your prediction. My prediction is that things are gonna open up and then within a week, like it's gonna be like double as bad as it was. Okay. 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 All right. I yeah. did my left hand, sorry. <laughs> This week, which is weird, is my first week of reduced hours. My job just cut my hours this week, which super sucks. And we've been really quiet on social media lately, so sorry about that. I think we're just trying to process like all the changes and everything, which obviously everybody is doing. Yeah. So we're thinking of you guys too. Mm -hmm. uh, Mads has been on reduced hours since, I mean, for the last three weeks, yeah. four, but almost. Mine will, I guess, go up this week. Because yeah. we're going back to our normal hours, but everyone's still on reduced hours. So when we get your work done, you got to get out of there. Yeah, and if you're like not doing something, then they like kick you out. It's crazy. Yeah. Landon has still been going to daycare normally, and this week was the first time we were thinking of not having him. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> So I'll do this really quick. <laughs> this week was the first week we were thinking of not having land in daycare because if you kept them home, then you didn't have to pay. But this week, since the stay at home order is lifted, they don't have that anymore. So we didn't really have the option. So we have to keep paying and that's fine. We love our daycare. So I'm really glad that our daycare never closed because when with me working a full 40 hours from home, it would have been impossible to do with land. So he went in for a few hours, you know, Gotta do what you gotta do. Working from home with the toddler is almost impossible. <laughs> so while Mads has been at work, I've been very bored. Bored in the house that I'm in the house bored. But she's actually been really Follow busy. us on TikTok, by the way, at the Whitney fam. 
I just get bored and post stuff on there. Go to follow me, I'm catdog. <laughs> catdog818. <laughs> I, the reason I said that, there was a reason. Um, oh, because I finally repainted our bathroom. So yeah. if you have followed us since the time when we bought the house, I, within a couple of months of us buying the house, I got four colors that I was deciding between for the bathroom and they've been painted in stripes. I wonder if I can find a clip. I mean, I'm sure. I have a picture somewhere. No, but like every time I would walk into the bathroom to vlog, they'd be behind me and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> like I hated it. So I finally painted it and actually Madison hasn't even seen the finished not. product yet. I will put in a little sneak peek of it here. So I was gonna wait till it was all the way done and surprise mads and all that, but I'm getting <sighs> inundated with this project and I keep expanding it and making it bigger and bigger. So I wanted to show you guys what I did so far. So, this was the fourth color swatch, and I think it looks good, and it makes the shower like pop a lot. And then I got these new light fixtures that I need to finish putting in. I'm gonna hang these for towels. And then my favorite part of it is this wall that I did. It looks so cool. I'm not gonna lie, I found it on TikTok, <laughs> so that's just my life right now. But I think it's cool because you can see it like from the mirror too. Love it. Well, hopefully it's done by the time I post this and I can actually put it being done. What are you looking at? Did our tree break? I'm sorry, I just it caught my eye. It's definitely on the ground. Where was it before? Oh, In the I air. See. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I hate you. I've also <laughs> never seen that tree in my entire life. So the bathroom is painted and... I can't wait to see it. I haven't yet, but... And I got like a new, um, new light fixtures and I'm finishing a piece of art for it. So that's why Madison hasn't been able to see it yet. And I just want it to look like perfect by the time she sees it. So that has been really fun. Yeah. Another thing that has not been fun that's been pretty hard. <laughs> Landon stopped breastfeeding this week. It's been really hard. So like everything was normal, normal, normal. And I would feed him like right before he went to bed and it was just like our little time. And like, I finally dropped the morning feed, what, like a week ago? Yeah, maybe a little bit more, week, two weeks. And so it was just the bedtime feed. And my mom was like, that takes forever to cut. Like, just be patient. I'm like, I'm not trying to cut it. Like, whatever, we'll get into that in a second, actually. I went to feed him like three nights ago. Yeah. And he just like, shook his head and said no and I was like okay that's fine and he just laid on me and then we cuddled and we kind of laughed at each other a little bit which was weird <laughs> and then it was I actually heard it I'm like, what is going on and then I put him in the crib and then he put himself to sleep and I was like okay maybe it's a fluke and then it happened to or last night and tonight mm -hmm. so looks like we're done yeah which is crazy yeah Sorry, I keep wanting to rock it. It's such a bad habit. It's a soothing habit for her. In other Landon news, his molars are coming in and he's like loose all the time. Like he has such a specific teething face. And I'm like, he okay. keeps grabbing our fingers and sticking them back there. But like his teeth now in the front are so in and big sure. that like they hurt <laughs> very badly. And he doesn't understand when we get hurt. He, we cry and then he cries and then it's just this big <laughs> fiasco. It's a lot of crying. It's not the best. Oh no, I have to sneeze again. Okay. Sorry. Okay, while well, she's blowing her nose over there. Our Hawaii trip obviously got canceled, but we are going in December, which is super exciting because it'll be like after my really busy season at work. So I'm very, very happy about that. Except my goal is to be like super pregnant by then. Which, I know, that would mean I'd have to be pregnant right now in order to be super pregnant then. But, I mean, if everything goes according to plan, at least my goal is to be pregnant when we are in Hawaii. So I'm gonna wait for Matt to get back and then we'll talk about our baby stuff. Our baby stuff. Ooh, our, our, our baby stuff. <laughs> Ooh, our, our baby, baby stuff. stuff. We haven't really talked about this on here and it's been going on since like January, but we are switching clinics, fertility clinics for our next baby. And 
the one, so the one we went to before, place A, they were really freaking awesome and I liked yeah. everything about them. They were, great. they were not in network, so it was really, really expensive and it was like an hour and a half away. And that's this one's, fine. That's, yeah. I mean, honestly, like we'll we see. We did what we wanted and needed to do. Yeah, and we got pregnant on the first try and that was super lucky and I yeah. like, I really like that whole clinic. Yeah. So clinic B is like 15 minutes, not even from our house, like yeah. 10 minutes. It's in network, so it's gonna be cheaper once I reach my deductible, which I will like going through stuff. The problem was is that when we called in January, their first available appointment was May. So yeah. that makes sense because it's a smaller like local clinic and like our area is not like a city. Like it is, this is the closest one within 50 miles of us. So we actually haven't even talked to the doctor yet. We have our consult in a week and we've been waiting for like four months for it to actually happen so we're kind of like just crossing our fingers till we meet with them because i have no idea like if i'm gonna like the vibe and honestly if we go in for the consult and i'm like not feeling it then we will go back to clinic a with like with no yeah. hesitation because we really like them and yeah you gotta pay to have a baby if you're two moms the drive it doesn't really matter yeah we did um, it once before we can do it again the other problem with clinic a though is when i called in maybe like february i don't know um i asked about breastfeeding and ttc and they said i had to be done for three months before the before the doctor would let us try and i was like oh my god well if we have to wait three months then we might as well wait three months and go to the clinic that's really close yeah but we have no idea if clinic b this is like a beautiful mind like all the <laughs> i keep saying clinic b and whatever clinic b. um but we have no idea if clinic b is going to have an issue with the breastfeeding thing but i am done breastfeeding now so i won't be lying when i say i'm done I am done, but if they're like, when, what's the last day? I'm not gonna be like, Earth Day. <laughs> That's when it was. <laughs> anyway, so we don't really have any like news. I just wanted to update you guys that we are switching clinics and we will have more like TTC stuff coming out for the rest of the year because we're kind of on a new adventure, like with a new doctor and everything. And <sighs> I'm just freaking out because I know we're gonna get like a negative pregnancy test and we've never had that because all like we've only taken one test or two tests but one time but that's okay we're in this together and it's I know. whatever happens happens and we'll be here okay oh. <laughs> you're cute I just like Landon I want a sibling for him and I'm like my baby fever has been so high lately like I've really been like wanting a baby I feel like I just talked like a mile a minute and I'm like, should we make some dinner? I don't know yeah. if she's gonna. You're not allowed to draw attention to it because then you take it away. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my god. And then I'm in this perpetual state of like sneezeness. Have you ever experienced it? If I make eye contact with someone or she somebody's talking to me. She's mad at me. At stranger, she talking. doesn't get mad. But if I take her sneeze, like I'm like, have to sleep in the guest room. When I'm in the <laughs> middle of a conversation with a patient at work, I will literally press right here to stop myself from sneezing so that I don't make a fool Your voice out of myself. so sick. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're gonna go make some dinner and watch American Idol. If you watch American Idol, please comment down below and talk to me about it because I'm just like into it. She loves it. Another thing I've been doing a lot of during this quarantine life is working out and getting really fit. She so, is doing awesome. So follow me on my personal Instagram, at Laura Whitney. So I will link that down below if you are interested in just seeing what workouts I'm doing. And hopefully the gym will be open up soon, but I'm feeling like super strong and super fit. You and look super strong and super fit. Thanks, I know that I look good when I come out and I'm just like, Laura, you look good. And like pulls me in in the kitchen in the morning. <laughs> Cause I don't sleep with pants on and I come out and she like elevators me and like looks me up and down and just like her legs are her aesthetic. You're aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so that is gonna be <laughs> it for this vlog. We hope you enjoyed our updates. If you have any questions for us, leave them down below. We always respond to our comments. Uh correction, Laura responds. I am just just working a full-time job over here. Sorry. 
I um, love you guys. Make sure you check out Ana Luisa Jewelry if you are interested. I will link all this stuff below. I am obsessed with this ring. Come on, there we go. It's just pretty. I love it. Thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sending us jewelry. You guys are the best, too. We will see you next time. Thanks for following the, the Whitney, Whitney fam. fam. Bye. Bye.